Dave, and together with our dogs Bell and Hudson, we're exploring the world in our Casita travel trailer. Come see where we go next. Hey everyone, so today I'm here to give you a tour of this beautiful, shiny 2022 Casita Independence Deluxe Trailer that we currently have for sale. Come and join me, we'll do a tour of the outside first and then I'll show you the inside. Now before I tour you around the outside, let me tell you about some of the unique features about this trailer. A lot of people ask us the question when they see this one, where do they come from? What's it all about? So these are manufactured in Texas. Um, it's a casita, as I mentioned earlier, and they're unique in that um, it's one fiberglass mold, so you just have one seam around the belly band. Um, that's a big selling feature for a lot of people, it means that uh, it's almost impossible for this trailer to leak. The other thing is that this trailer is very lightweight, so the weight on this one is 2,480 pounds, meaning that uh, a lot of vehicles will be able to tow this compared to your average larger, heavier trailer. As you'll see when I tour you around, this particular trailer has been optioned out quite nicely. So quite a few of the options that Casita offers out of the factory have been added to this particular trailer. And I'll go through some of those one by one so you can see them in more detail. All right, so let's get started with the tour of the outside. First thing you'll notice on the front here is that this trailer does come complete with two dual propane tanks on the front as well as convenience light on the front for when you're hooking up late at night and need that extra lighting. As we move around the side, you'll notice that it does come complete with an outdoor faucet that has both hot and cold water, which is super handy if you want to get clean outside without having to drag your mud and dirt inside. It's also um, solar ready. So it's got the connection port for solar panels. So all you need to do is purchase some solar panels and you're good to plug in. As we walk around, you'll see the hot water tank here. It is a two-way hot water tank, so it works on both electric and propane. Next to that, you see the battery compartment. As we walk around the back of the trailer, you'll see our fresh water filling station. And we've got some storage in the side here. We'll have a look inside there. You can actually see your freshwater storage tank. So that's your ability to see the level of your tank. And we've got quite a bit of storage under here that extends under the bed. And I'll show you more of that when we get inside. We've also got a 120 volt receptacle on the outside. And if we look at the top, we've got an awning as well. This is a manual awning. You can see from here that there is air conditioning on this trailer. The air conditioner does complete, come complete with a heat strip as well. Got some more lighting on the side here. Got a keypad on the door, which is quite convenient. You don't need to be carrying your keys around with you all the time. Just before we go inside, one more thing that I'll mention is the tires on these trailers. These are upgraded Goodyear Endurance tires with 15 inch aluminum alloy rims. So here we are inside the trailer. And before I give you the grand tour, I'll start by just telling you some of the features that I really like about the inside of this one. Biggest thing for me is this is a 17 foot trailer. It's lightweight, as I mentioned earlier, but they've jam-packed just about every possible feature into this trailer. So regardless of the fact that it's a small trailer, you're gonna have a lot of the features that any bigger trailer would, and in some cases, you'll have even more. One of my favorite parts about this trailer is the fact that for a small trailer, there's actually two twin XL beds. 
which is great if you're two individuals. It's perfect, it gives both people a lot of room. And you could actually also transform those two twin XL beds into one king size bed, which is pretty rare in a trailer of this size. All right, so as we walk into the trailer, the first thing you'll notice is there is a screen door on this trailer, which is really handy for added ventilation in the trailer. First thing you'll notice straight ahead of us as we walk into the trailer is the kitchen. So we've got a three burner stove top, two drawers and some storage underneath. You'll also see the furnace here, so there's a propane furnace. However, this trailer does come complete with an air conditioner that has heat strips. So you do have two heating sources that you can use. The heating strip is perfect for um, small changes in temperature where the furnace is great if you're camping in colder temperature. As we continue here, we've got our vent hood, we've got our sink, with hot and cold water, some lighting, and above that, we have some really great storage for dishes and for food items. A quick look inside here. More than enough storage for anything that you're gonna need for your kitchen related activities. As we turn around and have a look at the other side, again, we've got more storage. And below that, we actually have a microwave. The great thing about this microwave is it's really easy to pull in and out. So we've had some trips where we'll pull this microwave out and we'll use this space instead as extra storage, or if you know you're gonna use it, you can keep it right in there. Very easy to pull in and out. Next thing we have is a really great size Dometic fridge, and this is a three-way fridge. So it works on 12 volt, 120 volt, and it also works on propane. So you have all of your options, whether you're boondocking, or whether you're plugged in at a private park. Got a good size freezer in here as well. Next thing, if we have a look up at the top here, we've got a max air vent fan. And this actually comes along with a remote, so you can set it to open and close automatically based on the temperature setting that you set it at. Blows air in and out. This is a really great feature on this trailer. It does a really good job of cooling things down or sucking air out if you've been cooking in here. As I mentioned earlier, this trailer does have air conditioning. The air conditioner also has a heat strip, so you do have the option of heating or cooling with this unit. And it's all controlled by your digital thermostat over here, which also controls your furnace. So kind of a one-stop shop to control all of your heating and cooling needs in the trailer. Next, as we move to the main living area, first thing you'll notice is these two twin XL beds, which are absolutely incredible for sleeping. They're nice and long no matter how tall you are, which is pretty unique for a trailer of this size. We've actually upgraded the mattresses on this and added a memory foam topper to make the sleep a little bit more comfortable. This trailer also does come complete with all the necessary hardware and cushions to transform these two twin beds into one king size bed. So this center aisle would end up being covered with some cushions and some boards that run across the middle and that creates your king size bed for you. So it really depends on what your sleeping preference is. And if we move to the top, we've got storage all around the top. Again, Lots of extra space for clothes and any other items that you might need to store. Extra large storage at the back here. And we've got a 28 inch flat screen TV in here as well. The trailer does come cable ready. So there is a cable hookup outside for ready access to that. Across the top, you'll also notice that we have a number of receptacles and USB ports. I'm at the back as well. And we've also installed some additional LED lighting that runs across the top of our two windows.
Back to the kitchen, you'll notice some additional counter space. We've got this additional fold up countertop that can fold up and down, depending on if you need that extra counter space or not. Next, let's talk about the storage underneath the beds. You can access that storage by pulling the cushions up or there's cupboard doors where you can open and find some pretty generous storage space underneath both of the beds. As well as right at the back, you can see that there's also another storage cabinet. Next, we'll have a look at the washroom. Another nice feature of a trailer this small. You do have a wet bath. We've got our toilet. Got a window in here. We've got a sink. Some shelving along the wall. You've got another vent fan. And we also have some sealed storage that you can store things like toilet paper and other things that you may not want to get wet if you're having a shower in here. So again, this is a wet bath. So you've got your shower head there, got a shower curtain that pulls across the door here. You can take showers in here when you need to. Another nice part about this trailer is this great closet storage space that we have at the front. This is a huge closet where you can either choose to hang coats in here, sweaters, clothes, or you can add some shelving in here to make it a bit of a pantry. One more thing you might be asking yourself about this trailer is what about eating space? Where's the table? Well, Casita's thought about that too. There's actually a space here for two tabletops. So you can actually have tabletop tops running all the way across the entire space of the bed. We've actually had this custom tabletop built for us and we like that. It's a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact, still gives us space to put things on. But we also do have the original tabletops and they look something like this. So here we are with the tabletop that came with Casita. There's actually two of these. You can see the two holes in the ground there and all of that hardware is available. Well, thank you for joining me for this tour of our 2022 Casita Independence Deluxe Trailer. And if you're interested in owning this versatile and unique trailer, contact us because it's for sale right now. Hope to hear from you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really does help us out. And don't forget to come back tomorrow to see where we go next.